Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Air Memories of Old. So, we've got sec uh, Second Temple to take a look at. Let's see how this one is. I mean, it's not going to be any more challenging than the last one. But, I'd love to see what the difference is. Ooh, okay. So this temple almost looks like it's going to be pure God King. How's the Western Monument coming along? Yeah, because that's the God King right up there. Creepy. I guess that would kind of explain the, uh, the excessive amount of work put into this thing. You... You don't skimp when you're uh, when you're making monuments to your god king. <laughs> Love to get a better look at the guy's face, but whatever, this is fine. It doesn't look like they finished this area though. Like it actually looks like they kind of stopped halfway. Or were they converting? I don't know. I assume I'm just supposed to fall. But I'm going to try and fall in a controlled manner. There's a lot to digest here. I'm glad I made that last episode a little bit shorter. This is there's a whole lot to look at. So does this just kind of gets me back to where I was. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So that's how we get back up. I do wish I could, like, float. Like, extend my cloak out and uh, slow fall in these dungeons. But that would probably let you go places you're not supposed to go. Anything back here? There's a big door, but I don't, I'm not getting through that anytime soon. Or maybe I am. I, I'm not getting through there until I get some kind of switch. The dreams of the people are calm again. I hope this whole ordeal with the king is nothing more than an old man worrying about nothing. Okay. So that's not powered either. There's no scroll there. We found a fortune. There are multiple pockets of air below. Loads more than we had anticipated. So they found air, which I guess is not just kind of the name of the game, but it's also apparently the MacGuffin. The elevator isn't working again. Who keeps turning off the main switch? Well. Down we go into the ooh, mystical magical portal area. Well, I guess not really portal area, but mystical magical... Something or other. So it's not an elevator, but it does get the door open. Well, I'm going to explore down here first, and then we'll come back up for the doors. Probably. Alternatively, it actually looks like the reverse is true. We probably want to go up first. Maybe? I don't know. Is there anything behind the waterfall? There's nothing behind the waterfall. Unfortunate. I love games that hide stuff behind waterfalls. Even even just like minor things. Waterfalls are really pretty. Scary as shit though, but really pretty. Alright, so this will... Yeah, so we have to go into the three doors to activate the, the three switches to get through this door. Which presumably is where they've locked up the, uh, the ancient spirit god deity ghost thing. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense here. So 
the elevator's on. Well, we can start getting in some of these doors. I can get in this one over, over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in that door. Unless it's the, uh, the way back in through wherever this is. These are excessive doors. Dang. Like, this is supposed to be a temple, but, like, this whole place looks like it's built, uh, take a siege and then some. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? I guess, yeah, just bring it down enough that you can get on it. Okay. I was like, is there like a, a method of getting it locked down? Is there a... Is there anything? I, I was just looking... Uh, to see if there's any way of like locking it in place, but no dice. Okay, whatever. Feast in honor of the only god, Kuroku. Forever is his reign, king of kings and soon ruler of the known world. Looks like this is kind of the, uh... Those are some big-ass scrolls. Yeah, this is probably kind of the, the library or the archives or something, maybe? I don't know. I just want to know, like, Kuroku's thoughts on things. Like, why he thinks he's the God Emperor. Because let's be honest, it takes a special kind of delusion to think you're the God Emperor. Also, what's with, what the hell is with these, like, giant drill things? They're like... Was this temple here before, or in the, or in the middle of... Are, like, they in the middle of excavating it? I don't know. Should we remove these old scrolls before we start up the drill? There's our answer. So the this was this was a temple well before uh, they started converting it over into a mine. Um, and they're more or less just like, well, this is all paganism. Burn it, and that's that's how it works. All right, so that gets us another. Uh, Another one of these on. They have a whole lot of statues. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was gonna try and talk about this in the past episode, and then I got distracted by things. It's interesting that this game kind of does the, like, paganism being replaced by, like, a, a stronger, more co cohesive uh, theocracy. Um... And that's a common storytelling thing where, like, the spirits are real, but people slowly, like, lose their faith and move away from it. Uh, and whatever. So that's the entrance we came in on, so we want to go down. Um, and, you know, what do you know? The old gods are real. And they're kind of pissed that everybody decided to replace them with God King, uh, Koros... You know. And, you know, replacing them with all this, like ideology to fake gods instead and such they and therefore they like destroy the world and stuff which I mean actually it makes kind of sense just kind of also sad but it's interesting that that's kind of reflected in the real world and I don't really want to get in too much about religion and whatever but it's always interesting to see, because, you know, humans started with uh, paganism as a, whoops, and we're through here. Uh, humans started with paganism as their kind of primary uh, religious, primary faith, and obviously it was, like, widespread, but never, ever cohesive. Usually people, like, worshipped the sun, and it's like, okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. It kind of literally is the life giver. Sort of. 
At least for people, if it wasn't for the sun, we'd be doomed. It's a really odd looking gear. Is it broken? Yeah, it's broken. But I don't know. It's just interesting seeing, you know, this kind of storytelling. So does that just start going up and down, or did, does that just start going down? I don't... whatever. Okay, so, no, it, it looks like it is going up and down. Well, in that case, why even go across these gears? I'll just walk back. Easier platforming. Maybe a little bit more time-consuming, but I'm lazy. Um... But yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just interesting to see kind of media where our... Yep, I always do that too. I jump up thinking I'm good and then I bounce my head off the bottom of the platform I'm trying to get onto. Been doing that a lot in Mario lately too. Dang it. Well, I was trying to be clever. Ah. <laughs> uh. There we go. I'll just kind of hang up here. And there. Yeah, I think we could turn into a bird in this area, but no. Oh, does that get us an elevator? It does. At least I think it does. Either that or we walked out the way we came in. The king's men are soon here. We need to hurry. I hope the scrolls will be safe in here. This looks like an elevator. Some variety. Nope, no elevator. But this door wasn't open. This door most definitely was not open. When the creator made the humans... The Keeper of Dreams came forward and stood guard. He saw the link between the Great Dreamer and Eternity. Sometimes fear and nightmares were born into the world. When, and when snatched up by human thought, they turned into horrible realities. So he prepared powerful songs of time and peace, stories to lead the nightmares astray, and then he trapped them in eternal scrolls and stored them all, all away. Horrible stories never come true, stored and forgotten in the halls of, this, uh, halls of sleep. Interesting, so... This, this is the temple full of nightmares, so maybe the God King read one of them. Okay, so we found, we found our way back to the beginning, which means we can finally get in this door. Oh, lantern. I was like, why can't I interact with this? It's all glowy. And there's our answer. Looks like we're done. Okay, so I guess the temple was a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. It felt like the other one was fairly long. So this is probably where the uh, King of Dreams is. I just want to look at this thing. So it's effectively kind of a rock with like a fissure in it. And some, like, towers. Okay. So the time has come finally. And this marks the time, the Keeper of Dream, uh, time for the Keeper of Dreams to wake from his daydream and to resign. How could I protect your people from the nightmares that lurked within their dreams as you cease to believe in me? I doubt you will be able to overcome the shadow that lurks in your world, little human. There is a, l a shadow in every human as well. A shadow called emptiness that can't be filled with power nor possessions. Shallow minds led way for the void to come into existence. Oh, it's a giant scroll. And it's very pretty. So, led way for the void to come into existence, eating everything away. The creator had to sacrifice himself to lock away the ravenous void. And the lands and skies were shattered in the great divide. Heed my words, little human. Will you be able to find the last fragment before the void does? For myself, I claim deep sleep and leave my concerns to you. I am free.
so the god of twilight was sad and felt bad was the line that wiggly last time i don't think it was But this time around, the King of Dreams was much more dismissive, being like, you stopped believing in me, therefore I stopped caring about you. Though, I guess also, by not believing in him, he couldn't do his job, so kind of that bitterness, kind of, it makes sense. Plus, they also, like, decided to raid his temple and convert it over to the, uh, raid it over to the temple of Kor Kokad, yeah, whatever. Let go of me! These are holy grounds, not just another power source for taking. Oh. Well, yeah, we ain't getting back in there. Luckily, this game has, like, no collectibles, so it's not a big deal. But, uh... Oof. Well, off we go. I'd... You know what? No, 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 no. Let's go back to the lighthouse. I don't see any other things. Yeah, we want to go back to the lighthouse so we can talk to the NPCs. I know where to go next, but I feel like I should, uh, huh. Was this there before? I don't know. It'd be actually really impressive of the developers to, uh, to actually, like, have every time you, uh, complete a temple, more and more rocks grow in the various locations. That would be, uh... That would actually be really, really clever. But... Doesn't seem like the case. Anyway, yeah, let's go back to the lighthouse and let's talk to our, uh... Our plot-based NPCs. Dang it. I was trying to go for the speed bump, but I wasn't... Or not the speed bump, the speed boost. But I didn't succeed. It'd be cool if you could actually see, like, more than just three people at the settlement. Supposedly, there's there are more people somewhere. But there's really only, like, a little bit here and there. Oh, well. Yo. Have you seen Aaron? I turned my back for a second and I can't find her anywhere. Oh, this is my fault. I know she's not a she's as adventurous as her old man. But it's not the same. It's just different when it's your kid, you know? Will you please help me find her? I'll search the camp. And see if the skyboat is still here. Gods forbid she took the skyboat. Can you search the outskirts of the island and see if you can find her? Hey. We've been taking care of the land go land of gods for many years now, me and John. And my parents before us. But I haven't reflected on the rituals of the pilgrimage very much. Why is it that the only that only bird shifters go through the pilgrimage? There are other shifters who are chosen by other spirit animals. There are, of course, stories that tell of Kara. She was a bird shifter too, but it feels as it's more than that. As with Kara's light, I feel that you were given it to shed light on something important. But you still have a part of the pilgrimage left, don't you? Let's see. There's only one temple left now, and it's located in the Storm of Howling Peaks, all the way up at the roof of the world in the north. It's an old monastery where people lived, served, and learned in solitude. The sigil is located close to a small bell tower, rather than the temple itself. Yeah, hiccup. Take care when flying through the storm. Sometimes it's difficult to find the way, and it's raging stronger now than just a few years ago. Okay, so we're looking for a ch the the kid. I don't know if this is an important subplot, but I should do it anyway. I could see it. Oh, there she is. Me? Hey, Ock. Have you seen this? I found this rock on my expedition all by myself. I'm convinced it's some sort of great evil monster mastermind's mineral minion. I've kept it under close watch. 
It hasn't done anything yet, except for standing there. But I heard Medvin say that the Black Rocks destroyed Karaz Shrine. I bet that this has something to do with that split mountain up in the northeast as well. Did you know that a spirit fox lives there? We went there once, me and Dad. I had to wait outside, but I found a large rune. So I had an expedition there too. See, I'm an awesome adventurer. And now you should take me with you. Maybe I should ask Mom and Dad first. If they say yes, then it's a problem. Uh, problem. Promise? Promise? You did kind of promise, you know, so it's a deal now. I better go back to Mom and Dad soon. Okay, let me save the world first, and then we can go on bird, bird explorations. Because, yeah, I mean, like, sure. Also, don't touch that rock. It's, it, it kills deer. Probably kills kids, too. Kills everything. Everything burns. <laughs> uh, these loading screens are like, nothing, nothing, everything, everything, and just like fills up, not even like fast, it's just like kind of jaggedly opens, uh, fills the bar. I don't know. I, <sighs> loading screens always kind of annoy me. I'm like, are you being serious here, or is this like just kind of an arbitrary, uh, like load percentage? Someday I will make a game, and my loading screen will probably just be pure nonsense. Hmm. Ok, I have some information, but it raises even more questions, I'm afraid. Before the caretakers, there was another entity. The creator, whose shrine I bet you found already. Since the world itself is his temple, he has no temple of his own. But there is a shrine, larger than any temple. Strange, isn't it? I found an old text from the time of the Great Divide. The lighthouse shone a brilliant beam, and a monolith tall as ten of the tallest towers of Urza appeared in front of my eyes. In one instant, the peaceful refuge of the Land of Gods became instead sky, chaos, and piercing light. In the middle, the monolith. I knew then that it was the Creator's shrine I gazed upon, for nothing else it could be. From it, cracks spread, and the sound of a thousand thunders drenched my mind. For us, the Great Divide is the tale of Kara and the beginning of the people of the sky, and nothing more. Now I think otherwise. Kara visited the caretakers, as you have done. And it said she was given a great power when praying at the lighthouse. I believe this creature. You see in your dreams. Oh, I believe this creature you see in your dreams is looking for this power. And for some reason, it seems to be following you. I beg you, visit the last caretaker and see if you can find out even more. I will continue my search here. All right. Well, up north we go. I'll see if I can go visit the bear again, and then we'll go take a look at the Split Mountain, because maybe the bear has something new to say now that I've actually properly progressed the plot. And if not, oh well, it's not the end of the world. Or, well, kind of is. <laughs> Either way, I think this is actually a really good stopping point. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but I think I'm still going to keep these episodes a little bit short, just to, well, be kind of kind to myself. So see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.